Hello everyone. Hope you are doing great. I am Sampath. Today I will show you what we are about stone needs and how effectively we can use stone needs properly. For example, if you can see here, uh, stone needs having a 40 plus filters, we can use those filters to gather our targeted stores information. If you are offering your services to e-commerce stores, then definitely this website will help us a lot. If you watch this video up to end, I will show you how to use stone needs filters properly, how to gather our targeted stores information using stone needs or if you want me to provide you targeted e-commerce stores decision makers information, you can also directly approach me. I'm mentioning my contact details in the description. You can also message me directly on WhatsApp. Not only e-commerce stores information, if you are looking for LinkedIn data scrapping, if you have any targeted search results on LinkedIn, I will scrap all the results, then I will try to provide you possible verified email IDs and possible direct deals information. Or uh, Instagram influencers, based on their followers count, based on their targeted location, based on their targeted niche, I can offer that one or Instagram scrapping, like if you have any competitors Instagram pages, so you can have a chance to scrap the competitors pages followers, publicly mentioned email IDs and publicly mentioned contact numbers. Or hashtag also, we can have a chance to scrap along with contact information. Or local business data, like if you are looking for local clothing stores or like local toy shops or local dentists, we can have a chance to gather information like this. Or if you are looking for angel investors, VCs, so that too, based on their previous investment history, like based on their uh, previous investment indices or like if you are looking for yellow pages scrapping or if you are looking for recently funded companies key decision makers information we can have a chance to gather that information anything related to b2b data and web scrapping services you can approach me like i offer fresh and verified data as i said you can directly message me on whatsapp let us jump into the storage first we will go through the storage pricing for example if you can see here uh premium one 75 dollars per month so if we subscribe this $75 per month one, we can have a chance to access two e-commerce platforms. For example, if you can see here, these are the platforms. So we can have a chance to access any two platforms. So then after 2,000 searches per month, we can do 2,000 searches per month. Then we can't export any data. If we can subscribe this one, we can't export any data. Just we can do some research and we can collect manually data. Then after pro package, $250 per month, so using this package, we can also have a chance to access two e-commerce platforms. Like we can access Shopify WooCommerce. So we can't access all the platforms here. We can only have a chances if we want Wix or WooCommerce, we can only subscribe that once. Then we can uh, do unlimited searches. We can export to CSV data. Then after this, we can see their elite plan. So this is the plan I'm currently using. So we can also have a chance to access all the platforms. So then we can do unlimited searches. We can export to CSV enterprise plan. So all the, I think mostly elite plan is enough for anyone. Like enterprise enterprise plan might work for large team members, like 22 members. So these are the pricing. So now we will go to the dashboard first. So this is the dashboard and these are the filters. We can see store leads having a 40 plus filters. We can utilize all the filters to gather our targeted information. For example, this is the dashboard. For example, if I can click one, one store, then we can see all the information here. We can see all the stores information. We can see all the shows, social media URLs. So we can see which apps they installed on their website, which tech they are using on their website, and what products they are selling. Then after uh, their ranking, and we can have a chance to note something. So you can see all the information here. See now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use these filters to gather our targeted information. For example, here, first one is such, if you want some toy shops, we can simply sell it. Uh, such toys then we can see all the toys related shops here see now we can see almost 100k stores information related to toys so then after here you can see the platform suppose if you want only Shopify stores you can select Shopify you can only have a chance to see Shopify stores or if you want WooCommerce stores then we can only select WooCommerce then we can if you want only Wix related stores we can select only Wix here so then after we need to select here status active, then create a date monthly. For example, if you want to uh, segregate data based on month wise, suppose for example, uh, like last month created stores information if you need, we can just simply select here this one and we can have a chance to see stores which created into last month only. We can also have a chance to create, a, uh, check the stores which created into last week also. Like we can simply uh, select this one we can see what are the stores created last month and what are the stores uh, last week's updated. Then after category, uh, suppose if you want some apparel related 
stores. We can have a chance to select here apparel. Then we could only have a chance to see apparel ones. We can also have a chance to see your subcategories like uh, uh, swimwear, clothing, children, footwear. So we can select those and we can use that ones. So you can see here all the categories here, sports related, gaming related, science, finance, smoking, adult to holidays related, uh, legal services. We can see many e-commerce platforms here, categories. Then after we can see here the which apps they installed on their website. So we can have a chance to collect information based on that also. Then after technology wise, like which technology they are using on their website. You can see the people who installed Facebook ad pixels on their website. So we can just simply click here and we can see, or if you are, if you want to offer Google ads uh, services, then after you can see here, people who installed that Google AdSense on their website, we can simply select and we can see that information. Then after social media and contact information. So suppose for example, if you want to see people who is having only Instagram URLs, we can simply check here, select here. Then after we can see all the stores which having Instagram URLs, or if you want uh, stores which is having WhatsApp URLs. We can select here simply. We can have a chance to see the stores which is which is having WhatsApp URLs directly. So we can have a chance to directly send them WhatsApp message also. So we can see here WhatsApp. So we can simply send them a WhatsApp message. Then after we can see here phone country wise which number they are using on their website. We can have a chance to select based on that. Uh, like estimated sales. Uh, suppose for example if you want stores less who are earning less than 50k so we can just simply select here under 50k per month stores then we can see stores which are earning less than 50k per month or here you can see we can also have a chance to select uh employee wise stores employee wise like 129 10 to 24 we can have a chance to select here our targeted employee store also so here uh, unknown means like uh, the store is whichever they are not able to track they simply mention unknown here see uh, then after we can see how many products they sold so we can have a chance to select based on that so region if we want to select europe asia america once so we can simply select here country wise suppose if we are looking for is basically one country uh, stores then after we can select that country and we can see that country stores only then currency which currency they are using whether they are using INR, usd or euros so we can have a chance to select that based on that so language, which language they are using on their website, like English, Spanish, or Arabic, we can have a chance to select those ones here. So suppose, for example, if we can select French, so we can have a chance to see uh, people who are using French language on their website. Then do top level domains means, like if you are want, if you want only UK related domains, then you can see here, we can just simply select here, UK domains .co uk then we can see only the UK related domains. Or like if you want to, uh, Australia related domains, we can just simply select here. We can see the domains which are related to Australia. We can have a chance to select based on that. So sales channels, suppose for example, if you want people who are selling their products on Amazon, then we can simply select here. We can check those platforms or eBay. So people who are selling their products on eBay, we can simply select here and we can see that type of stores. So ship to countries, like which countries they are shipping their products. We can also have a chance to select that. So uh, shopping carriers, like uh, which ones they are using, like team vendor, which ones they are using, like these are the filters actually. We can use all these filters to gather our targeted stores information. So this is the basic search actually. Suppose for example, if we want to select multiple ones, we can't select here. So for that, what we need to do is we need to use advanced search. Using basic search, we can only select each one at a time. But using advanced search, we can select multiple ones. For example, here I'm just selecting Shopify. Then after I'm going to advance. Here we can have a chance to select multiple ones. Shopify and WooCommerce, then simply we can click execute to search. We can see all the information related to that. So if we want filters, we can simply add the filters. See which filter we need. We can simply add that filter. For example, uh, ship to country, state wise, region wise, status wise. So these are the most uh, advanced filters actually. Basic search, we have some advanced filters, but uh, in these advanced filters, we can have a chance to segregate in a broader way. Uh, for example, here we can see the employee size. So we can select here up to 1 to 20. Let us see what will happen. So we can just simply click execute to search. See, then we can see only 100 cases or something. So then after we can add more filters, 
for example you can just simply click filter you can add the filter which one you want so suppose for example domain name domain count uh created it so product views for example created it we can see that see we can select last one and we can just select here execute to search we will see how many we can see now we can see 266 see using these filters we can have a chance to filter like that so just simply we can export the data once we filter see here we can have a chance to select whatever the information we need so if we don't want that information we just simply unselect that once and we can select whatever the data we only require so we can just simply click export so once we click export file will be export so then we can have a chance to see information like this once the file is export see we can see the domain names so we can see the category we can see the city we can see how much uh, they are earning per month and their sales their email id and uh, the social media URLs information see all this information we can have a chance to see here so now we can do email to them we can call them if we want if they have whatsapp url we can directly message them on whatsapp if they have instagram we can approach them through what uh, instagram so if we can use this list in a proper way definitely we can have a chance to get some clients so this is the all about store leads guys like if you have any doubts related to store leads or if you want any information just comment in the comment section or if you want my services as i said uh, if you are looking for any kind of e-commerce store decision makers information or like linkedin data scrapping or uh, instagram scrapping or instagram influencer scrapping or like uh, investors information targeted investors information anything related to b2b data and web scrapping services please feel free to approach me on whatsapp you can just simply select and you can just message me on whatsapp so thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel thank you